everybody, uh, this is Paul. I'm going to do a, an analysis on Roku. Uh, I've been in this a long time, uh, just for, from about $100, where this six-star buy is on the weekly here. But we've had a wave for pullback now. So I'm going to be using the, um, the swing trading bundle from globaltradingsoftware.com to go through this uh, and basically explain why I'm going to go reasonably aggressive on this on this particular trade. So this is the trade station version. Uh, the Swing Trading Bundle is also available for platforms like Think or Swim, Ninja Trader, Trading View. Um, I'm going to use the Trading View, ver uh, the, sorry, the Trade Station version today. So, um, you know, back uh, 2019, we had um, 2020, we had really a range bound period. We did have some XBRAT 4 and 5 and 6 star cells, but we didn't get the, the divergence cloud confirmation from that uh, and what we look for. But also, um, then we start to move up. And this is where I basically have got a lot of my positions uh, on Roku around this price. This 6 star buy here, you can see the, the confirmation from that divergence cloud is very, very clear. We also get the green dot on the top here where my cursor is. That's where those divergences are really in a bullish state. And then it just goes. And I've been riding this all the way along. Now we've had a profit taking pullback. I did take half my position with my inner circle off at, this, at these highs on this wave three. Um, and then we've had the pullback. Now I'm looking to swing trade this. So I'm still going to keep my half of my positions on. Uh, for, for investment, but I want to swing trade this now. This is on the weekly time frame, so this could be something like a three month swing or something like that. So, uh, you know, it's not uh, it's not a short term swing, uh, it could be up to three months. So, I'm going to zoom into this bit here on, um, on the Elliott Way. So, I'm just going to go down a couple there, and so we've got two charts we've got intraday and that weekly chart. So, let's just move that across here. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more because it's really, in, I'm just interested on this wave four really. Okay. So I just added the false breakout stochastic part of that Elia wave indicator suite part of that swing trading bundle. I just wanted to show you this because it's about the behavior of this wave four. I want to talk about this chart on the left first, that weekly chart, that wave four. So first of all, the wave fours pull back into our automated probability pullback zone. So it's found support in this amber zone, which gives it an 80% probability. It's going to go on and find this or this high, this fifth wave high around about 550. That that target zone's automated there. So initially that behavior is pretty good. We've had one, two, three, four, five, six weeks, and then we started to move away again. That's you know, that's pretty standard behavior for a profit taking pullback there. The false breakout, you see the yellow dots at the top here. This is a stochastic that denotes a really strong bullish trend. Sorry, real world, that was my phone, and that's how it goes sometimes. I paused it as soon as I could. So let's go back to this. So the false breakout stochastic here, we've got really strong bullish momentum with these yellow dots at the top there. And then when we pull back on that wave four and cross over in the oversold zone, which we're just doing now, uh, that shows you that it wants to return to that main bullish state. So again, that wave four is behaving very, very well. The dots in the middle there, they are uh, the bias. So that looks on a higher time frame. So this is weekly, it looks at the monthly. And basically it did go neutral on this, the yellow dot, but now we're back in a bullish state on that higher time frame. So everything's pointing to um, for it to return to that main bullish trend that we've discussed and I'm already in. Uh, so the next thing is <coughs> entry. Now, on the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, we've got this green 6.4 moving average high and it's extended. So what it is, is it takes the highs of the last six days um, of the, uh, and then basically that 6.4 means it just pushes it forward in time by four days. Now, that conservative entry would probably get us in in the next few weeks over 400. Now, what I've drawn on here is regression trend channel, okay? And what we need to be is we need to be outside of that regression trend channel at least 
Um, so, you know, even if it's this week, a 37813 entry would still be breaking this regression trend channel, which is good. But I need a backup intraday, really, for me. So, on the right hand chart, this is the 195. So, <clears throat> if you split the stock trading day minus the um, pre market and post market uh, equally, you'll get a 19, the 195 time frame for me intraday is very, very, very cool. So, Two things that's happened here. This is that pullback we can see on the weekly, on the 195, and this is the move up. You see the divergence cloud now is going green. So let's just zoom in a little bit on that. So the divergence cloud has gone green. We got a five star buy signal, okay, as well to go long. So intraday, we're getting my XBRAT signal, the five star buy, which is, you know, six star is the highest. We're going to buy signal. Not only that, we're getting confirmation from the divergence clouds on that intraday going green. So we're bullish again. And then we've got that green dot up here where my cursor is to say those divergence clouds. Now we are in that buy state. So again, going back to that weekly, sensible entry 37813. If it doesn't break this week, it doesn't break this week. We've had a good week so far. Uh, we just have to be patient. We don't want to get in until it breaks that 37813, even if it's next week. Then we'll see that momentum, should see that momentum continuing. So again, a little bit, I'm using that swing trading bundle. So I'm, I'm using multiple time frames. I've got this wave four pullback on the weekly. It's performed. You know, the behavior is as, as we expect. We're measuring it using that Elliott wave suite. Looks really cool. Uh, we've gone intraday on the 195. Uh, that pullback from that wave four is moving on well. The divergence, as I say, now it's bullish. Uh, we've got the XBRAT signal to go long. So we've got confirmation on that um, intraday. So we're good to go. For me, I'm going to put this trade on Roku uh, on the weekly. And again, this could take up to three months to reach that 550. Uh, I mean, Roku can move pretty quick, as you can see on this wave three. We get some really uh, quick moves. Um, but central entry stop just below the wave four here. Uh, around about two two eight three something like that um, and then you, you you're gonna look to have that open so if you're trading options here you need to go out a few months uh, for that type of bullish trade hopefully that helps using the trade station version of the swing trading bundle so it's a toolbox of indicators to really give us those uh, good high probability trading opportunities